you crazy kids and all your, all your nonsense. Look at me. You're giving me wrinkles. You understand? You're giving me wrinkles. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and in case you can't tell, which I hope you can tell, today's look is going to be an old lady, granny, witchy looking lady. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. This look was done using all products that you most likely already have and the outfit, I just took a little t-shirt thingy and threw a cardigan over it because I love my granny cardigan very much and if I get an excuse to wear it I'm gonna like you need an excuse right but anyways if you want to see how I did this just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe is Elmer's glue safe to use on your skin according to refinery29.com you should typically refrain from applying something to your face that isn't meant for your skin even if Elmer's is not toxic Noting the glue could okay so in case you were just wondering yes I know that you're not technically supposed to put Elmer's glue on your skin but because I did not have liquid latex I was seriously considering it but you will see in this tutorial that I did not do it I did however use a moisturizer and now I am priming my face and I'm also going to be applying two different foundations because you really could skip foundation altogether but I wanted to have a straight up all one color base to start out with but like I said you could totally skip foundation because you're going to be messing your face up pretty hardcore anyways the choice is yours this foundation did not have a whole lot of coverage and that might, like I said, as far as just having a base to work with, it would have been just fine. But I wanted to have a little bit more blotchier skin anyway, so I went ahead and used another foundation. Or, well, this time it was a BB cream. And it just had a little bit more of a lighter coverage. And as you can see, it still did not cover up the imperfections. It just added to giving me more of a clean slate. And I'm also taking my brush and mushing my lips together and that is going to get the foundation all over certain parts of your lips and then the parts that it doesn't get on is going to be the cracks for my old lady mouth. And now I'm just powdering up my face to make sure that everything stays in place. Okay, for the wrinkles, I'm starting out by using just a very small eyeliner brush and some brown eyeshadow and I'm going in on all the wrinkles that I already have. If you don't have any, lucky you, um, all you have to do is just scrunch up your forehead, make some ugly faces, and they will appear. You will see me do that here in just a minute because I have a lot more wrinkles on my forehead than I do anywhere else but they are still there. As you can see, I'm just scrunching up my forehead and then typically with age, it would appear that you always see people that get like in between their eyes, they will have a number one or a number 11. That was a rule that I seen on YouTube a very long time ago. But as you can see on my crazy forehead, I have a Roman numeral three. I mean, what the heck is going on there? Oh well, just adds to the effect. Now I'm just creating my smile lines. And this was, um, I mean you can do this however you want. I made some smile lines and some frown lines. Um, this could be hit or miss. But I went back in a few times to fix that. And now I'm adding in some crow's feet. Because I like to think that in my good old days, all my wrinkles will be from all my laughter and good times. Hopefully yours is the same. Now I'm just accentuating my under eye baggage that we already have going on pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. I think the under eye baggage situation going on here is very real. 
And then for wrinkles on your cheeks and stuff, I have a very chubby face, so I don't really have wrinkles no matter how I scrunched up my face. I just could not make any appear. If you had liquid latex or something, that would be awesome. You could totally make wrinkles with that stuff. But I would suggest looking up pictures <laughs> of like elderly people or, you know, just, I don't know, Snapchat actually had a little filter there going on for a day where you could make yourself look like an old person. And I could have sworn that I screenshotted it so that I would have it for reference because I knew I wanted to do this video. But when I went back to find it, I guess I really didn't screenshot it, but I totally thought I did. And now I'm just taking a shade of, it's a skin tone shade, and I'm just using it to blend out some of these wrinkles so that they're not so harsh and just looking like lines on my face. I wanted to give them some depth. And now I'm just going in with some shadow on my lids to make them a little bit red and irritated. And once you have your eyes looking a little bit irritated, I'm going to go over the top of that with a little bit of a brown shadow just in the outer part of the crease to make the outside of my lids look extra heavy, like they're drooping down even more than they already do. And then I'm going in again and creating more smile lines and going back in and creating even more wrinkles on my forehead and making some of them bigger and deeper. And again, with the whole cheek um, wrinkles, do it however you want to. This method is clearly not necessarily the best, but I mean, like I said, you'll figure it out. Um, then I'm just taking a grayish brown shadow and I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eyes to make my eyes look like they are very sunken in and very, very tired. I'm also dragging that on down to the lower lash line to again accentuate the under eye bags. And then just going back through again and blending and creating as many more wrinkles as I possibly can. Once I get some liquid latex I would like to come back and revisit this look and I feel like it would turn out a lot better. But I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not mad at it or nothing. And then for my lips, I just took some of that dark shadow and drew it into the little cracks that we created using the foundation earlier. And now for the nose, this is another one of those things that I'm not really sure how to tell you to do it. This kind of worked for me, but I also feel like I could have just rounded it out on the corners and just left it alone. Now I'm just taking that same eyeliner brush and extending up those eye wrinkles just a little bit higher onto my forehead and going back to accentuate the ones under my eyes and around the crow's feet a little bit more. And you can just keep doing this until you get the desired amount of wrinkles or however dark you want them or however defined you want them. And if you don't make them straight they're going to look even more real. And I'm just going back in and redefining the nose a little bit more. And like I said, you could have just skipped out on filling in the tip of the nose. And it probably would have gave it an even better effect. But from this standpoint, I thought that it needed it. I have been known to be wrong. <laughs> okay, and now I'm just taking a more rose-toned shadow and going around the edges of the mouth to give the smile lines a little bit more warmth. Don't know why, but it seemed it seemed important <laughs> at the time. And then here we go, trying to make some more wrinkles around the cheeks, and I'm trying to define the nose a little bit more with some dark shadow around the edges. Now I'm just using a big powder brush and going over everything one more time and I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in the shade Milk on a little brush and use it to highlight the wrinkles. So I'm going to go wherever I didn't put darkness 
on the cracks of my lips, I'm going to highlight it with the white. And then for the mouth also, whenever you are scrunching it together, make your lines around the perimeter of your mouth and you can also highlight those areas and then I'm highlighting all the rest of the wrinkles. You want to try to do this to every single one of them and it's going to make them look that much more realistic. And then for one of the most important parts, it's time to white out the eyebrows and make them look good and old and gray. I'm just taking some of that NYX Jumbo Shadow Pencil and running it through my brows. And then I decided to try to run it through my hair as well. And as you can see, it put a few streaks, but not enough to be noticed. So I decided to use my air spun powder. And I mean, this is totally optional. If you had hairspray paint or body paint, that works probably even better. But I just took some of that airspun powder and placed it all over my hair to give it a little bit more of a grayed effect. At some angles you can really see it and then at other angles not so much. So like I said, if your hair, actually if your hair is darker, it would show up even better, but where my hair is kind of light at the moment, it's not really showing up that great. But I'm just continuing to pack it on. And this is the finished look. Um, you could totally do your neck if you decided that your neck was going to be showing, but for the video's sake, I did not do the neck. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something or were at least entertained, and more importantly, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, you crazy kids.